Welcome to another SafeJS app podcast and this time around I want to show you an application called Defender and it's a privacy guard for SafeJS. What it basically does is hosting a blacklist of ad servers basically. So it's an, yeah, we could say ad blocking application in a way. But it's a global ad blocking application, so it's not meant to be for a specific browser. It will block all servers and web addresses that are known to be either malware, malware or uh, scareware or ads. And you can find this application on the uh, Open uh, Repos website or in Storman. And it's basically a nice ad blocking application that uses the slash etc slash hosts approach to block ads globally on your SafeJS device. So let's open it up and you will see that it has a nice user interface which allows you to uh, go into your ad blocks list. And here you can see a long list of various different uh, ad blocking services that basically host these uh, blacklists for malware, for scareware and for ads. And as you can see here with the uh, various different indicators you can turn on those lists or turn them off. As you can see here there are some that are uh, adware plus malware, there are some that um, even try to block fake news, gambling, porn, social uh, and so on as you can see here and you can turn them on or off and you can see various different services here and uh, what I like to do is turning off uh, tracking and advertising of course and there are some others that I could turn on if I'd like to and of course if one of those lists might be outdated what you can do is simply go on update now it will then grab a new list of um, the a new update of those lists and it will upgrade or update in the background. Uh, what you also have is a cookie manager, which is also pretty nice, which allows you to simply search for cookies that are stored on your system. And you can then remove those cookies if you don't like them. You can um, remove them, as you can see here. So which is a pretty nice uh, thing for various different websites, as you can see here. I don't want to show you everything here. But uh, you have the option to do this. You can also delete all non-whitelisted, delete all blacklisted, or lock the cookies if you'd like to, which is also a pretty nice feature uh, when it comes to cookie management. Of course, there are some settings, just like, for example, you can clear the cookie blacklist or the uh, cookie whitelist, and you can um, just simply turn on that it will only download the adblock lists if it's connected to a wireless LAN. Otherwise, it will not download, might save you some traffic. And there's, of course, a documentation as well, which gives you information on how to use this, uh, how this might be very useful for you or not. Uh, can I demonstrate this really? Mm, no, I have this enabled now. I need to basically remove it, show your website with ads, and then enable it again, install it again, and show you the website again without loading apps. What's pretty nice with this application is that in the default browser, in the Yola browser, or Safish browser, uh, you won't get then so much ads. And what's pretty nice about this is that websites load quicker because usually they have or tend to have lots and lots of ads, even mobile websites nowadays. And without or with blocking loading those mobile ads, the website don't have the the web browser does not have to wait for them to load to show anything. So you can load websites much much quicker this way. Just like for example, let's go on to this website for example. Usually it should load very quickly now. Usually you have an ad here, uh, you have even pop-up ads uh, on top of the text as well. And as you can see here, it does not appear, there are no ads anymore. Here is an advertisement or should be an advertisement, but it's blocked as you can see here. So there's uh, nothing in here, only articles. 
which is pretty nice. So it helps keeping the pest away. Uh, just like one ad blogging uh, company uh, has this um, this slogan, I guess. And it's pretty damn good, especially if you like to see websites ad free. And there are some websites with good articles, but they are yeah overblown with ads somehow and um, this prevents loading them and which helps not only the web browser itself and the browsing speed and loading times of websites but also other applications that might um, in, that might have uh, some web view or some capability to load certain websites in the background that uh, might load a little bit faster with the ads blocked so this is the uh, basically, Defender application, uh, which allows you to basically manage your ad block lists and your cookies. And you can find it on the Storeman Open Repos warehouse, wherever you like. And you give it a thumbs up, like this application. And um, yeah, that's everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.